1994, Philip Gingrich from Michigan returns to the Suleiman mountain range in Pakistan. It was here 16 years earlier he unearthed the oldest whale ancestor. His quest now is to find the first ancient whale that lived permanently in the sea. They're extraterrestrial in the sense that they left the earth, they left the land, and live in the sea today, which is a little like outer space, really. And the change to be able to live there is big. The question is, can he now hook the biggest fish of all, the first fully aquatic whale? The rock here once formed the bed of the ancient Tethys Sea. The region is rich in ancient marine fossils, but remote. They must complete the journey on foot and camp. They set to work using only tools they can carry in a backpack, hammers, trowels, and brushes. The team discovers the skeleton of another ancient whale. The question is, could this species be the elusive missing link that cut its ties with freshwater? Back at the University of Michigan, they set to work, separating clean bone from mineral. Tests on the mineral rock reveal this creature lived 46 million years ago, three million years after Ambulocetus. Ambulocetus was a poor swimmer, struggling to escape predators or to hunt. This species has evolved a series of adaptations to swim better. He has a shorter, more powerful neck, better for diving. His rear legs widen and become more flipper-like. His tail develops muscles. However, the teeth of this ancient whale reveal something far more significant. Just four million years after the whale ancestor Pachycetus first entered fresh water, this whale lives permanently in the sea. This is the first whale that really took to the sea. And to be honest, we didn't believe it. The secret to its success and the survival of the entire whale species comes down to a tiny but ingenious device inside its trademark ear. Paleontologist Philip Kingrich has unearthed a whale that lived 46 million years ago. He names it Rhodocetus. It appears to be the missing link between the wolf-like ancient whale, its descendants, and modern whales.